This week's element, element 18, is examining errors in reasoning. The desired effect of element 18 is that students can examine and explain their errors in reasoning to deepen their knowledge. Why engage students in examining errors in reasoning? It forces to read for a purpose and become critical consumers of information. Students learn to back conclusions by analyzing resources. It strengthens a student's understanding of a concept or skill and to encourage students with analyzing and evaluating faulty logic in themselves and others. How can I help students examine errors in reasoning? One way is to introduce them to common errors by discussing and providing examples of errors in thinking such as faulty logic, attacks, weak references, and misinformation. Another way would be to generate activities that allow for more independence to examine and critique reasoning. Your name? Yeah. I'm Elizabeth Back, and I teach at Pineview Elementary. This is my first year in kindergarten. So we're in DQ3, deepening knowledge. And it's really important that we focus on element 18, which would be um, analyzing errors and reasoning, um, because kids are making mistakes. It's just natural that as we subtract, they're going to make mistakes. So as a kindergarten teacher, I have to stop when I see it happening so that they understand why they're doing it the wrong way, how you do it the right way, and that way the right answers will be remembered. The difference is, is that um, the ones that are done on the fly, you cannot plan for, but you have to just be, you just have to stop. And I know that people say it, it uses up your time, but it's really valuable. There were other ones, I wanted them to realize that my picture was incorrect and I wanted them just to catch my errors so they really know how to use the strategy. If they don't know how to use the strategy, they can't possibly try and pinpoint my mistake. Okay, okay so there are other times when I purposely plan my mistakes um, and I'll use language that, that tells the children there is a mistake. I'll say, I want you to find Mrs. Mrs. Beck's error, Mrs. Beck's mistake, find my, by my boo-boo, because they're five. But um, I want them to know that there is one, that there is an error, and that I make mistakes just like they do. Think how many smileys more? How many more smileys and frownies? Five, three, four. Freeze. I hear three, I hear four, I hear five. Freeze, 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 freeze. I want Sydney to come up here because she said five. She may not have understood the question. Use my marker and I want you, Sydney, to pair up smileys and frownies and tell me how many more smileys I have. You can draw them. Justin or someone, who said it? Who said draw? Johnny said to draw. Three. Two more. Three. Three. Now, I thought I how many who? smileys are there. Oh, so she was confused on the question. Thank you for fixing your mistake. And I want you to think, is six minus two equal to five? Don't yell it out, because you're going to tell your partner. And you can also use your fingers. All right. When I say go, you're going to turn to your peanut butter partner. Peanut butters are going to give the right answer, and jellies are going to say why. Seven minus nine. Seven minus nine. In the way. I'm sorry. Seven minus nine Wait, equals two. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sydney's making a con She's confused. Eyes on Sydney. Freeze. Connor, I love it. I love it, Justin. I love blue. Johnny, eyes on Sydney. She's like, Mrs. Back, go ahead. Nine's a bigger number than seven, so how can we take away nine if there's only seven? I don't know, everyone. Let's prove her right or wrong. Put up your fingers. No, don't even put up your fingers.
fingers. Draw me a picture. Draw me a picture to show me that 7 minus 9 is or isn't 2.